Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of God, the most merciful, the most beneficent. Good afternoon. Bonjour. Assalamu alaikum. Bakhir Mr. Prime Minister, Madam Trudeau, Sophie, uh, Mr. Speaker, members of the House, members of the Senate, distinguished guests, my parents, Ziauddin and Torpikai. And finally, the people of Canada, thank you so much for the warm welcome to your country. This is my first trip to Canada, but not my first attempt. On the 22nd of October, 2014, my father and I landed at the Toronto airport, excited for a first visit to your wonderful country. Soon we learned that a man had attacked Parliament Hill, killing a Canadian soldier, wounding others, and threatening leaders and civil servants in the building where I stand today. Canadian security officials and professional advised us to reschedule. With sorrow in our hearts, we headed back to England, promising to return to Canada one day. The man who attacked Parliament Hill called himself a Muslim, but he did not share my faith. He did not share the faith of one and a half billion Muslims living in peace around the world. Sorry, the podium became too high, so I'm short-sighted. I couldn't read some of the words. Uh, so now I can read my speech. Uh, back to my point that the man who attacked Parliament Hill called himself a Muslim, but he did not share my faith. He did not share the faith of one and a half billion Muslims living in peace around the world. He did not share our, Mus our Islam a religion of learning, compassion, and mercy. I am a Muslim, and I believe that if you pick up a gun in the name of Islam and kill an innocent person, you are not Muslim anymore. You and the person who, who attacked Parliament Hill and all these terrorists do not share my faith. Instead, <laughs> Instead, he shared the hatred of the man who attacked Quebec City Mosque in January, killing six people while they were at prayer. The same hatred as the man who killed civilians and police officers in London three weeks ago. The same hatred as the men who killed 132 school children in Pakistan Army Public School in Peshawar. The same hatred as the man who shot me and my two school friends. These men have tried to divide us and destroy our democracies, our freedom of religion, our right to go to school. But we and you refuse to be divided. Canadians, wherever you are born, however you worship, stand together. And nothing proves this more than your commitment to refugees. Around the world, we have heard about Canada's heroes, we heard about the members of the First United Church here in Ottawa, who sponsored newlyweds Amina and Abraham. A few months later, the family had their first child, a little girl named Maria. The church decided to raise more money to bring Abraham's brother and family to Canada so Maria could grow up with her cousins. We heard about Jorge Salazar in Vancouver, who came to Canada as a child refugee, fleeing violence in Colombia. As a young adult, 
He's working with today's children, immigrants, and refugees, helping them adopt with the new culture and country. And I'm very proud to announce that Farah Muhammad, a refugee who fled Uganda and came to Canada as a child, is Malala Fund's new CEO, a Canadian who will now lead the fight for girls' education around the world.